वेलकम टू सशक्त एम्पावरिंग लाइव्स I am Rajni your autism coach and in today's video we will talk about a very important concept called the IEP now 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 as parents you don't have to feel worried that oh my god this is technical this is therapist's job that IEP and god knows what all how i can do that no it's not like that IEP in the very literal sense of it first of all let me tell you the full form IEP means individualized education plan simply put it means your child's education plan your child's specific plan understand as a parent of a child with autism you have seen that your child does not learn at the same pace at which another kid learns in the class so what happens is other children have a set curriculum for one year that in one year this child will do this and this and this and this so maths they will do fractions or they'll do decimals or whatever is the specific age appropriate criteria same way lot of people ask me also oh which class do you teach now i don't have a, an answer to it because an autistic child is my class my child my student with autism is my class and it's that simple if my child is let's say at a grade 4 reading level but in math is at a grade 2 level then that's what it is right we cannot have very strict watertight compartments or compounds to say that okay this child has to follow a grade 2 syllabus this child has to follow a grade 3 syllabus because autism is about varying levels of learnings so the graph is not straight the graph goes up and down and sometimes wherever and down and then some things up like that so an individualized education plan or a goal plan or a iep in short is basically your way of making your work a little more methodical than the random work which we as parents do and so it is not something extremely technical it is something mandatory or necessary all you have to do is simply whatever skill you are teaching the child so in a notebook or maybe in a file or in a excel or word file so what you can do is you can create a word file whereby you will put the date okay for you will put the month the date that this is the area of learning you will put area of learning and you will name you will put the subject let's say for example maths So you'll say area of learning maths. It can be area of learning life skills. My child will learn how to cross the road. That is also an element to go in the IEP. The ADL element to go in the IEP. Always remember in your IEP you must have the following five elements. Behaviors. If you are to work on a specific behavior, say for example somebody's kid bangs head. So your IEP must have. that my child will stop head banging within the next 30 days so that's your iep right so that's one now the second goal on your iep sheet the first one as i said is behaviors the second goal on your iep sheet should be language many times parents say i want my child to talk now that's not a goal that's an intent that's a that's a wish just like rajni will say that i want to go to australia for a vacation but if i want it to become a goal then i have to say i need my passport by the end of this month so that then i can apply for visa i need the visa clearance by this time then i need this much of money whatever whatever i need to connect with somebody so what have i done i have broken down the goal of going to australia for a vacation into many smaller simpler goals and then i will be achieving each one so that eventually the desire of reaching australia can be for a vacation can be achieved same way your language goal cannot be i want my child to talk that's not a goal that's a wish so you will then go to the pyramid if you want to understand what the pyramid is the what 
who, where, when, why, how, the entire of the language pyramid, please refer to our videos on the language pyramid right here on the YouTube channel as well as please feel free to go to the description and click on the link uh, of the masterclass where we teach you every Friday 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on a three hour masterclass what is the pyramid how do you create language for your kid from one word right up going up to a full sentence and then talking back and forth to the extent of even arguing with you on a logical point so the entire bit of language development for children on the autism spectrum is taught there besides if you want to learn how to develop language in a step-by-step -step way that is also available in terms of books so you could go to the description and there you will find all the necessary links both for the books as well as the the master class let's go back to this the second goal will be language and you'll take a very small goal. My child will learn to answer when asked questions such as what is this, what is the color, you know. So the last leg of the pyramid, the what. So like this, you will take a goal that in 15 days, my child will learn this. Then in next 15 days, my child will learn how to answer who questions. My child will answer, will learn how to answer in two words or three word phrase or maybe a complete sentence so like this you will pen down exactly what you want right so this is how you create your goal the third point on the goal sheet will be social awareness my child will learn how to say hello and bye bye to other children independently without me reminding the child now that is a goal my child will play with all children is a wish so as I explained, you will put goals, you will break it down into what exactly do you need. The next one on the goal sheet will be self-help skills, which means you will figure out that within the house, what are the things that your child will do? And then you'll take it up like a goal. So you'll say, my child will bathe on his own by the end of one month. That's your goal on the goal sheet or the IEP sheet. And then of course, you have the academic goals which will be whatever the child's specific level is or whatever is happening in the school. Always remember, you don't have to be depending upon external agencies all the time to have your child's well-being taken care of. You as a parent can do that also. It just requires us to jump out of the disability mindset and look in the open and say, how can I remediate this situation? So when you get into that mode, when you get into the problem fixing mode from the problem thinking mode is when all the solutions come up. The last column on the IEP format is your review column. That's your progress report. Always remember the most deadly, the most difficult. So basically what you have done the entire month, then you go to the last column and you say done, achieved, not achieved, not attempted. So that gives you the red flags. Oh, what was I doing? I did not even attempt this goal. Oh, I'm halfway through with this one and this one, I am so proud of myself. I achieved it. So when you go like this, you go systematically, not begging into the world outside, some, trying to find if you get some good therapist. It's a great idea to connect with good therapists and take it forward. But it's an even better idea to be first self-empowered and then connect with therapists outside so that both of you are like a team, not like a victim and a savior kind of a relationship. I hope this video was of benefit to you. Until next week, bye bye. And of course, before I forget, do not forget to subscribe. Press the like button if you liked it. Share it with people you think will benefit. And not to miss any of my videos, press the notification button there.